Hi, my name is Brian Walmsley and I'd like to talk to you about my journey of eating raw. I started eating raw almost 30 days ago on September 7th, 2009. It is October 3rd, 2009 now, so, you know, pretty close to a month now of eating raw. Um, I started eating raw because I've got a number of problems, uh, health problems, uh, that I've been dealing with. Uh, I was born and raised in San Francisco, start from scratch. I started getting into computers when I was really young, back in the days when computers were nothing more than a almost a fantasy. <laughs> Home computers? Never heard of them. Um, yeah, well, I was an active person, uh, did a lot of working, did a lot of playing, uh, used to move printing presses when I was a kid. Uh, however, more and more that I used computers, my health, my you know, weight started gaining and I started getting more and more slothy, you know. Uh, didn't get out much, played on the computer more, less with my friends. I did get out and play, you know, mind you. I just didn't really do a whole bunch when it came to um, continuing that activity. And friends moved away, times changed, I started getting more and more into computers. Uh, started eating, you know, worse foods, convenience foods, foods that, you know, were microwavable, quick, that way I could make it quickly and then get back onto the computer. Uh, spent a lot of time behind the keyboard. Uh, still do, unfortunately, but un it's my job nowadays. It's how I make my money. Uh, no, your video didn't freeze. That's just me and thought. I've been dealing with a bunch of medical issues because of the slothiness and the weight that I put on. I probably at my highest weighed about 400 give or take. Um, that wasn't, well, it's about four years ago I'm guessing, five years. Uh, it's before I met my wife. Um, I really hated the fact that I gained all the weight. I was always very hard on myself. I've tried multiple types of diets. I've tried Atkins. Uh, hell, a long time ago I tried the Cambridge diets. I've tried, you know, Weight Watchers. I've tried just Slim Fast. I've tried just uh, Low Carb, which, you know, of course it's Atkins, but Atkins is a bit different. Um, none of them worked. I couldn't do anything. What finally started working for me was the ultra metabolism diet. Um, the ultra metabolism diet helped me make some changes in my eating habits. And yeah, I noticed that I definitely started eating better. Stripping away the high fructose corn syrup was a big one. It's incredible the amount of high fructose corn syrup there is out there. Um, became a consummate label reading reader, something I never thought I would do. I hate label reading, <laughs> or at least I used to. Now I read all labels. Um, let me just give you the rundown of my problem list. I suffer from gout. I've got high blood pressure. I have uh, CHF, or congestive heart art failure, uh, where one part of my, you know, my heart is overly enlarged. So one valve is, you know, not letting enough blood through. It just doesn't close completely enough so that when the heart compresses, you know, it shoots the blood up. Um, I've got sleep apnea, pretty severe sleep apnea, like 83 times an hour or something like that. It's pretty high. It's, it, I was not getting a whole lot of sleep. I would fall asleep driving from my place to work. You know, that was pretty bad. That's only like 30 minutes. So, yeah. I sleep with a 
CPAP machine in order to get some sleep. I take two different uh, medications for my high blood pressure. Sorry, three medications for my high blood pressure. Uh, Alpurinol for my gout problem. I've got gout going on right now in my hand. It's something I'm going to have to deal with as the weight comes off. Uh, probably about two to three months ago, three months ago, I guess, right now, a uh, chiropractor of mine, um, that's a wonderful, wonderful chiropractor. He's in the Vallejo Bay Area by the name of John Harrington. Wonderful. Uh, uses the uh, activator method of chiropractics. Wonderful guy. Excellent. Fantastic. Couldn't recommend him more. He's helped me with various problems I've been having in my knees, my ankles, my back, my shoulders. You know, I'm a big guy. I carry a lot of weight. I also carry a lot of muscle. I'm still very proud of the fact that I can you know, bench press, you know, 250 pounds with little effort. Um, however, I'm carrying too much weight. When I started eating raw, it was actually an idea that uh, Dr. Harrington gave me. He told me that the best way to get rid of gout was to eat a vegetarian lifestyle. You know, a vegetarian diet, give up meat, dairy, the like. Well, I didn't want any of that. I couldn't stand the thought of not having my meat, not eating beef, pork, um, lamb, chicken, sushi, you know, fish. I love fish. And you know something? I may have some fish at some point down the road. I don't know yet. I'm still undertaking this journey just to see how I feel. So I got to thinking, well, maybe I should look into the, you know, the vegetarian lifestyle. You know, it just might be the, the, the ticket to getting away from this pain, getting this weight off. Well, a few months ago, a friend of mine sent me a link to a video called Raw for 30 Days. And when I first saw his email, I didn't want to pay it any attention because raw? No, I just didn't want raw. Raw wasn't for me. You know, or so I thought. So I took a look at it and I viewed it and I watched the video, video on, you know, how these few people were able to go out there and experience eating raw because they had diabetes. Most of them, within a few days, were able to get off of their insulin and not take any insulin for their diabetes. By a month's time, they had no need of it. They have saw, they, I saw blood sugars go from 400 down to, you know, below 100 in some cases. That's really impressive. And now one of the guys is a spokesperson for the company eating raw for 30 days. It's 